Hello everyone, it's Shane Conto, your Wasteland Reviewer, and it's time for me to gush, because I absolutely love this film, Incredibles 2. I have been waiting so long for this film, because I absolutely love The Incredibles so much. It's one of my favorite Pixar films. It's one of my favorite superhero films. It has such a great villain, the family dynamic, everything, the characters, from top to bottom, Michael Giacchino's score, oh, Everything was so fantastic and waited 14 years for the sequel and I know some people are really disappointed by this and that makes me disappointed because I thought this was an amazing film. I thought this was so great. This is like something has to come and like punch Incredibles 2 in the face and knock it out for them to beat this for best animated feature this year because this blew me out of the water. This really took that first film, built on it took what was great about it, added new things that were great, and this is perfectly balanced from Brad Bird between the humor, the human drama, the themes of family, the action. The action is great in this film. Everything is emotive. You really feel those moments between the pars, each family member, their dynamics, what's going on in their lives, Bo both parents having to shift gears and really taking on a new role in this family and really how that affects them what the kids are going through this film is tense there is some real action and suspense in this film there's one particular action sequence that is really intense for a kids movie and I'm like I feel like I'm watching an actual like superhero like thriller and like this one scene was like a crime thriller and it's just like holy crap this film is great and it's exciting, it's exhilarating. By the end of the movie you're just like pumped because it's like I just spent two hours absolutely loving this film. And Michael Giacchino outdoes himself with the score is amazing in this film. And it's like boom getting you pumped up and excited and really driving force throughout this film. And it still has that great like mix of like triumphant kind of like superhero-y but really like that 60s spy kind of stuff and it really really works the animation is gorgeous Pixar really outdoes itself every time they cre keep creating such amazing looking films with such great animation and there's some really fun inventive action in this film especially with Elastigirl and her new Elasticycle and how it like splits and she can stretch and like chasing after this train it works so well and I really loved it especially towards the end of the film where there's a lot of supers using a lot of their powers character Boyd with her like portaling like Blink from X-Men and it's a very fun and engaging story you really get to see this idea of them trying to do a PR campaign to bring back supers and then alas the girl really finding herself again and realizing that she was so valued as a superhero that she never really realized because she was in the shadow of her husband and then you get to see mr incredible as dad and it's endearing and really showing how he's being a hero to his kids and really being there for them and the toll that it takes on him it's deep and thematic this really takes on a lot and it has a very interesting commentary on the societal impact of the hero complexes. It's like, what does the heroes being there that have these superpowers do to everybody else and their perspective on life? And they have a very interesting dynamic that really looks into that. And the ensemble's amazing. Craig T. Nelson, Holly Hunter, are fantastic. Holly Hunter is really great. The kids' vocal performances are great. Bob um, Odenkirk is a great addition to this. Catherine Keener really, really is a great addition to this as his sister. These two tw um, siblings that try to launch this campaign. Samuel L. Jackson is always a lot of fun. Brad Bird is Edna and she's fun she's not in it a whole lot but she's a great addition it balances the story it really gives a lot of purpose to the characters our main characters all get something really impactful for them to do in this film 
And Jack Jack is such a delight in this film and really steals the show throughout. I love this film and this is something that I this is for everyone. This is for everybody. The fi whole family can enjoy this film. There might be some tense moments for some of the kids, but the thing is it's well worth it because this is such this is the kind of movie that a lot of animated films that are like family family films should be. And this hits all the points. It can engage anybody. And it doesn't feel like it's just drowning in a sea of today's cinema with so many superhero films. This feels different. And honestly, I feel like a lot of superhero films can should look at the Incredibles films and be like, what did they do right? Really focus on that and can get a lot out of that. So I love this film. You have to go out. Like This is something that I encourage you to go out as soon as you can to go see. And it's well worth it. And I loved Incredibles 2. I can't recommend this film any higher.